we are now joined by Sa Jing Ting, the third place winner from our essay contest of this year. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Okay. Um, in your essay you say that unequal distribution of wealth, increasing intergenerational immobility and overpopulation, uh, as well as an aging society, could actually be, those problems could actually be solved with a new generational contract. How would you describe this contract and what points have to be in there? Uh, the, the content uh, of this contract uh, is based on the idea that, uh, uh, ba based on the East Asian program, which is that you, when you plant a tree, the trees, when a generation plants the trees, the trees grow big and it, it forms the shade under which the next generation rests. So the, the key message here is that uh, we shouldn't see, or we should see what we have inherited from the previous generation, not as an entitlement, but as a generosity or a legacy that is uh, to be extended and passed down to the next generation. So it's a fu future, it, it requires us to change our mentality, to focus on making the future better. Okay, yeah. great. So what are the concrete actions that you would actually like to take when having this generational conflict? I mean, uh, th these are like macro issues. So when I say concrete actions, I probably mean uh, things that should be implemented uh, as for so society as a whole. And, uh, Things that we are looking at are, are such, such, such as uh, investing in the uh, physical infrastructure, like next generation telecommunication network, uh, your uh, high speed rail, things that will speed up the, the movement of goods and make, make doing business easier. You know? And also investing in the human capital, allowing our, our, our children to be able to uh, cope with the increasingly uh, the, with an economy that is easily disrupted by technological changes and also globalization. Okay. So the, these are the concrete things that as a society we can we can do to make sure that they are. And what do you think are actually the key obstacles or the key things that actually could not make it such a contract work? I mean the key obstacle is uh, we, we have to change the mindset uh, of our people. Currently, there's this uh, focus on short-term solutions. Like uh, in the case of uh, Singapore, uh, we have an aging population. So we, uh, the immediate solution is to bring in the, the immig uh, immigrants, which is good for the economy, and it should be done at, at a very smaller scale. But when you overdo it, then you bring in additional problems, and you're postponing the, the the aging population, the problem of aging population, to the future generation. So this such such short-term thinking is not sustainable. And so to overcome that is, is I think, is the key obstacle. Yeah, problem. So you are living in Singapore, you're studying in Singapore. Um, Singapore is actually seen as one of the biggest and most yeah, keen in, in economies in, in the world. Do you think that the Singaporean model could be affected to other, other economies? I'm not sure about what you meant by the Singapore model, but I guess uh, what we have seen is that uh, there are certain principles that can be applied in uh, different countries. So like, like for example, uh, Singapore is a country that's known for investing in its people and also its uh, its physical infrastructure. And if you look at, uh, like here we are, Switzerland, you, know, uh, you, you have spent uh, 20 years building the, uh, the Gotha Base Tunnel, which is a really long-term project that, that has implications on a re reduction in carbon emissions, you know, improving transportation. And I think these, these are, we, we have seen these principles implemented uh, in, in places other than Singapore. And I think uh, it, it's important to remember that these, these principles, it's the principles that are important and we should uh, implement them considering the context of different countries. Great. So thank you a lot for the interview. And thank you. Enjoy the rest of your stay in St. Thank you. Thanks.